Well, so this is not anything that I haven't done before. Um, Brother Knives uh, sent me these because I know I didn't order them and they came in the mail. So I guess they sent them to me. I don't remember them actually sending me a message. But here they are, the 1508 and 1509 in bone handles. I mean, first when I saw them, I thought, um, this is like natural G10, but what happened to it? Well, it's bone and it's got natural, you know, variation in the color and that kind of thing. So these are bone. This is a slip joint. This is the 08, but the 09 here is a lock back. And really, I like this 09, I think better because it's a lock back. And um, the handle shapes are very similar, but I find this to be maybe a little bit to more, more to my liking as far as blade shape goes. It's got a nail nick here. Uh, it's got a little choil area. They're VG10, we've had them checked. We had the 1503 checked. Uh, we had one of the brother knives in D2 checked, and it was like a 60.5 HRC. Uh, the VG10 we had checked was right at 58. So that's, that's fine for VG10, actually. And so these are just small, little, traditional-looking pocket knives, you know. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, let me see if this does anything here. Try this one. Woo! That's a warranty looking thing, isn't it? So, okay. Oh, that's smooth. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Um, just trying to catch the edge of that paper. There you go. Yeah, yeah. They're pretty decent out of the box. Pretty smooth. And shouldn't be difficult to sharpen or maintain, really, with a VG10 blade. And, of course, it's true stainless and all that. And you got this little teeny uh, sharpening choil, which I call a sharpening choil. It gives me a little gap between where my stone ends up running up and down this blade. Um, 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 is that a... Uh, let me see. Is that... I guess, I guess it's not a recurve. It kind of looked like it at first, but it's not. So uh, yeah, this shouldn't be difficult uh, to sharpen and maintain. Obviously I can't take it apart because it's got these pins running through it. And it's got a stainless steel uh, bolster slash frame. And uh, yeah, I can see the uh, bronze through here. And I can't remember uh, if I've ever, ever done anything to disassemble, I don't think I could before, but I believe they say bronze washers on their site, and so I'm going to believe them, because I guess I can see it through the, the top of the bolster anyhow. Fit and finish is pretty nice, and these things are relatively inexpensive. 35 bucks, and I... I've done reviews on these before. I have the link to their AliExpress store where you can get the different brother knives. They've got different types, um, less traditional and more the modern type, and then a lot of traditional types. This blue G10 is what was the 31 bucks, and of course these are flash sale at the time. So, uh, and then 35 for the bone. And I'll tell you what, I just ordered this blue G10 one for 31 because you know what? That, that's really a nice little carry knife. It really is. And, you know, not that this would be the slip pouch you'd use, but you could get a really um, malleable, thinner type one that's only about yay wide and slide one of these knives in there and carry it because you don't have a pocket clip you do have a little lanyard hole though i mean it looks pretty good structural wise the fit and finish seemed good to me uh so if i'm thinking about you know 31 35 bucks uh for a traditional slip joint with verified g or vg10 um and you know Really, the finish on the blade looks good. Uh, plunge looks symmetrical. Uh, this one's kind of nice because, you know, and it's fairly new out of the box, but still, it'll break away 
I don't know if I can do a one-handed opening on this. I think they're met to where you're not supposed to. But yes, it feels pretty smooth, okay? Opening this feels pretty smooth. Almost like you could one-hand open it, and you probably could if you tried. And then this is a slip joint. Whoa, baby. Let me tell you, that is some powerful walk and talk. That Ooh, yes. Now, it's not gritty or anything. It's just that it's it's stiff. So this ain't just going to fall apart on you. That's for sure. Wow. Over time, maybe get a little easier, but wow. Uh, that's not easy, but it's not rough or gritty. It doesn't feel funky. You know, I've had some of these knives that were these slip joints that you know just felt gritty and nasty because they were really not manufactured very well but these yeah they seem fine that's just some whew, that's some stiff spring on there three inch you know overall six and three quarter type thing you know 70 oh not quite eight well close to 80 millimeters i guess and you know 17 a little over 17 centimeters let's see what we got on this one that that's that really changes that that lock back really that's pretty smooth opening uh it's a little shorter isn't it yeah uh yeah more like 77 millimeters at just under three inch blade okay yeah we're not sticking through the end of the tape and not quite six and three quarter overall, just a tad right at about 17 centimeters. So, okay, so this one's a little bit smaller than this one, actually. Uh, weight, grams, 72 on the uh, 09. Oh, no, that's the 08, the 09 here, uh, 78. Two point seven eight, two point five five. All right. Now, if you're just interested in how fat they are, eleven point three millimeters at point four four, and the blade stock. Let's get to the very end here. Probably close to three millimeters, and it is. It's like two point seven up here. Let's try this as well. Same two point seven at 0.10 of an inch so how's the ergos on here ergos are good uh you know i can get all my fingers on here thank god so that's good roll it around yeah i can actually reverse grip it not with a great deal of authority but i can't imagine why i want to reverse grip this uh how about the lock bag it's a little shorter isn't it yeah i'm still getting them all on there so that's fine that's good. And where's my balance point on this? Well, there it is on the lock back. Let me see on the slippy. There you go. Okay. Look along the back. It's nicely fit. I mean, it's just nice and flush. It's, it's done well. Same here. Easy to disengage, you know. So that's not difficult. It's not overly stiff. It, it's not overly light, though. Uh, that's not going to happen accidentally. You got to want to do that, but it will drop away. So in G10, also come in carbon fiber. If you haven't seen my review, there is a review on YouTube from me on these in carbon fiber and man that carbon fiber is really nice really classy looking but if you prefer more of a traditional bone or you want something g10 which is pretty rufty tufty and capable of getting knocked around a bit and still looking good uh regardless nicely done uh you know they they just they do have a nice finish to them which uh, just some of the, I won't name the brands, but you know what I'm talking about. Some of the knives that are more like a USA brand, but you know they're made in China. And they're not really done that well. 
But these, yeah, centered up. Let me take a look. Uh, not quite on center there, a, li a little bit off, okay. Uh, but no play. Yeah, definitely locks up solid. Ooh, baby, that's stiff. Nice. You can see you got variation in the color and stuff because of the bone. But just another FYI in case you haven't kept up or you haven't seen any of the brother knives out there. Just thought, yeah, I'd throw this at you real quick to kind of give you an update. They're doing some different handle materials now. May be of interest to you. Traditionals may be of interest to you. Every once in a while, it's kind of nice to grab one, fold it up, and just let it drop into your pocket and not have to worry about it. Nice discreet carry, not very heavy, fairly slender, and very usable. I'll leave you to it. Thank you so much. You know what we do. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.